Today is April 4th, 2024, and we have a day of fours today and multiples of fours today. So I'm feeling really good today. I feel just very um, energetic this morning. And between the messages God have, has been giving me about how he's going to just make a mockery of the gods of Egypt because they're trying to bring them here on earth and work their evil little plans and it's not going to turn out the way that they're hoping it will because God always raises a standard when the enemy tries to come in like a flood. Amen. But Aside from that, it is a sunny day, it is a beautiful day, and it is a day of fours, and fours represent firm foundation. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about the number four and what it means biblically. Also, I want to just bring attention to the fact that today we have a small planetary alignment, and anything I bring attention to is because God brings that, he brings it, attention to it to me. Okay. And so this is what he brings forward to me. I don't always understand why he brings certain things to my attention, but I listen and I try to learn and I try to understand and seek understanding. And so he brought it to my attention that today is a small planetary alignment. So there is four planets in alignment today, which is Venus, Mars, Saturn and Neptune, and they will be visible today. And a planetary alignment is an astro astronomical term used to describe when several planets gather closely on one side of the sun, and these planets will form a line. So we know in the beginning that God set the celestial bodies in the heavens to be for signs and for seasons. So as I stated, I don't really know exactly what this means, but I think it's pretty awesome. I think creation is awesome. God is awesome. It Creation professes how our almighty is a uh, God of the universe and all of creation. And so I think it's pretty incredible. And so going into the number four, number four really stands for firm foundations. It also represents open doors, creative miracles, creative opportunities opening, invitation. It's an invitation to encounter fresh intimacy with God to come up higher and, it, and to receive a fresh perspective and an increase of vision, breakthrough, and a season of victory. So Revelation 4, 1 states, Then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. The voice said, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after this. Psalm 44 Verse four says, you are my king and my God who decrees victories for Jacob. And I just love that so much because God's just been telling me about the victory for Jacob. He had me in the book of Obadiah yesterday where he clearly said that he was going to judge Edom because of what they did against Jacob. And um, if I'm remembering correctly and not getting names mixed up, but. There's so much that God shares with me. It's just, it's just overwhelming at times. And my memory is not the greatest because I'm very scatterbrained, but God chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Amen. So the number four speaks of creation, the earth or creative works as it was the fourth day of creation saw material creation finished. In the Hebrew language, the fourth letter is Dalet and is represented pictorially as an open door likened to an open tent door such as found entering the tent of meeting. The open door implies an invitation to enter fresh intimate encounter with God's presence and build intimacy with God. When seeing fours, take note of what you are doing at the time as it can be God talking of an open door season, creative miracles, and especially pertaining to entering the season you are on the threshold of. 
a fresh perspective as you come up higher and see the doors open to you. An increase of the seer gifting to see with greater clarity. God is decreeing victory over you. Align with what God is saying as you enter the door God has opened and decree victory. And I definitely feel like I'm experiencing that in my own life. I feel like there's been an increase of revelation, of understanding, of spiritual vision and discernment. And so really pursue intimacy with God to see what he wants to share with you and how he wants to use you and use your gifts to share with others. You are on the threshing floor. The threshing floor in scripture is a place of separation and revelation, a place where the harvest was prepared by separating the grain from the useless straw for the purpose of exposing and collecting the most value, valuable part of the crop. God is getting rid of the dross and purities in his people. This has been a very challenging season of waiting and wilderness, but it's been for the purpose of removing the impurities in our heart character, motives, and anything that has formed from woundedness, from being constantly rejected, or from all the different forms of trauma and demonic assaults we have faced. He is purifying his faithful at the threshing floor and inviting us into the tent of meeting for fresh encounters with him. New revelation, strategy, and greater anointing and impartation for the establishing of his kingdom in the earth. Proverbs 25 verses 4 through 5 says, Take away the dross from the silver, and the smith has material for a vessel. Take away the wicked from the presence of the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Dross is defined as the mass of solid impurities floating on a molten metal. The dross has no value and it is often referred to as scum. The dross must be removed so that the molten metal is pure. He is using all the trials we face to purify us and make us ready for good use in the days ahead. If impurities remain, they will destroy or pervert the blessings we are getting ready to receive. Submit, surrender, and yield yourself to this process. Be sensitive to change any behaviors, attitudes, or mindsets the Lord is asking you to address. It is for our good. Don't be discouraged or give up. We are almost there. We are at threshold and it's time to enter in wholeheartedly and wholly submitted into the tent of meeting with the Lord. In the same way that gold and silver are refined by fire, the Lord purifies your heart by the test and trials of life. Proverbs 17, 3. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. 1 Peter 1, 7. And I believe that this goes along with the message, the prophetic messages that God has been given me for um, the corporate body of Christ and uh, the world um, about how he's going to reveal himself in the coming days, how he's going to reveal himself to humanity and he's going to expose the dross, he's going to expose the scum in the earth and how he's going to um, purify his people and there's going to be this is really going to be a month of trials this month um, we're moving into the month of Nisan and this was the time that God uh, this is the time where Passover took place where God delivered his people out of Egypt and it wasn't you know always uh, you know fun. Okay. Even though they were being delivered, they were terrified. They thought God was setting them up. They thought God was taking them to the Red Sea to die. They weren't um, realizing that God was going to split the Red Sea, let them go through and destroy their enemies. So <laughs> we have to live by faith and not by sight. And um, God is firmly establishing us. And this is what he's saying through the number four. He's 
making our foundations firm and purifying us like gold and silver.